Hey, what's up guys? Steven of Salonga here, and today I've got a special tutorial. Um, this is dedicated to Ariel, and I share with her and a few other people that I'm doing the Zach Morris inspired haircut from Saved by the Bell. As you can see, I've got a blonde mannequin here. Um, Zach's hair wasn't this blonde, but I figured it's blonde and it's got perfect hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get Zach's look because I've gotten many, many requests for it. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. So Zach has had a variety of hairstyles throughout the seasons of Saved by the Bell. Um, but this one's kind of like right in the middle, kind of a, the classic Zach Morris haircut where it's got a little bit of length on top. Um, it's got a little length throughout the, at the back and the sides, but it's a really, really nice haircut. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start right here in the corner and I'm gonna establish my length. Now this mannequin um, basically is pretty much close to what Zach's hair is like. And that's why I picked this one. I said, this is almost exactly like how his hair is. So I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit. So I'm cutting the back to where it's probably about an inch in length, because it's got a little bit of length there and it's not too, too short, but it's not too, too long. All right, again, in some scenarios and some episodes and seasons, he had it a lot longer down here. He had kind of like a mushroom cut. You know, he had a variety of different haircuts. But this particular look is, again, kind of like his, uh, I'd say classic haircut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go throughout the whole back and I like going on an angle sometimes, cutting it this way because it keeps me kind of uh, focused and it keeps me structured when I'm cutting so I can follow a pattern. And then it also allows me to see how the hair is growing and it allows me to be able to go back in and cross check different ways to make sure it's all even. So finish this up in the back here and if you're watching this and you're not a hairstylist, uh, I hope you find this entertaining. I'm gonna do the whole back in through here, the same length, and as I get into about right here, where the occipital bone is, where the head rounds, I'm gonna start to make it a little bit longer to go from about an inch to inch and a half to probably about two inches, and then right in through here, probably gonna go about two and a half inches to three inches right in through here, and then uh, we'll work into the top. Now, as you can see, we're working upwards this way, and we're around that area which I mentioned before, which is where the head rounds. And if you follow the roundness of the head, it'll end up being a little bit you know, shorter right in through here. So what you need to do is you need to compensate and leave a little bit of length in through here. And we do that simply by visually looking at where the hair is shorter, and then where we want to start to leave it longer is where you angle your fingers properly. So you do leave length and you don't cut it too shorter. So here we are right here. Now if I were to follow the head shape, as you can see right here, I'd be cutting all this off. But instead, I'm going to extend it out to maintain that length, just like this. So it's also actually creating a square type shape right in through here. So let's finish this up here and everything is gonna be brought to that one section right there. And you can go back into this side, and again, I'm doing this section by section and by panels so that we have a good structure when we're cutting. I wouldn't suggest doing this yourself because it's almost gonna be pretty much impossible to cut this haircut on your, on your own, uh, but if you do want to bring this into a stylist, or um, I would suggest going to a hairstylist or something like this a barber, I don't know, um, but I'm sure there's good barbers that can do this. But you know, a hairstylist might be a little more comfortable doing this because most of it's all scissor work. So one last thing is now that we're finished here, I just want to go back in and cross check everything and look for any little, you know, any pieces that might be a little bit longer. And you can do that simply by just pulling it straight out and combing and cutting uh, whatever you see that is a little bit longer. All right, the back is done now, and as you can see here, now we're about two and a half inches, maybe almost three inches right in through here. And now what we're gonna do is connect this in through this. So how we said, you don't wanna ever pick this up straight up and cut it like that. What we're gonna do is we're going to now cut this going towards the face this way. All right, we already cut down here. But we still do need to connect somehow. And that's where we can connect it right in through here. So then what we're gonna do is again, comb it straight up from the head. We're not cutting this because we did that already. 
Now we'll take another section on the top, right in through here. And then now we can cut and continue that shape. Because you want to keep length, but you also want to make sure it does have a nice flow to it. You don't want to have any harsh steps or lines. So keep cutting like this towards the face. So we're cutting that way. Don't forget this side over here. And now that this is done, we can then start cutting everything straight across on top, horizontally. Because we already cut everything, and now we have a guide to work off of. There's the guide, and we're going to cut that to where it's probably about three inches now on the top of the head. And this is where we're going to maintain our length. But we're going to be able to do that simply because we did everything right before. And when you do everything right before, that's when you have successful haircuts. And again, we're trying to go with a specific type of look here. Every look has its own unique haircut. So right here in the front, you want to comb it straight up. And combing it straight up like that will help preserve the length. So the front is like probably about, I'd say, three and a half inches, which is the longest point throughout the haircut. And as you can see here, it goes back nicely, but we still have the corners and the sides to, to finish up. So for the corners, what we're going to do is simply follow the head shape here, which is going to preserve some length and just give it a nice even blend. And right into the front, we'll over direct back a little bit here so we can keep the length right there. And then this is done now. Now into the sides, what we can do is comb it straight down. We'll pick up right here where we left off, as you can see. There's the longer hair. Do the section by section, and we're cutting it to where the sides here are a little bit shorter, right above the ear area. And this is what a tapered haircut is. Tapered is basically when it goes shorter to longer, longer to shorter, but the shortest point is at the bottom. So now I'm going to come in throughout the top, over this way, palm to palm, and I'm just going to cut going downwards this way to give it a little bit of a tighter look. And this is the best way to do it, by holding your hands out like this. Because it allows you to get closer. If I went like this, I'd be putting myself in a very awkward position. So it's always best to go palm to palm where you're cutting your palms facing this way together. Then we can go right around the ear, just like that. And if you need to cut this a little bit shorter, the sideburn, go right ahead to give it more of a tapered look. And then what I like to do is I like to go back in and do scissor over comb just to, if I need to do any sort of blending or if there's any pieces, but I feel that scissor over comb works good for this, even if it is a bit longer. Scissor over comb doesn't mean you have to cut it where it's like a zero or a one, you know, or super, super short. It also works good on longer lengths as well. So don't forget, we still have this side to do. And we're gonna do the exact same thing where we're combing it straight out here and following the same pattern. You want the client to be facing you because this allows you to position your elbow so that you're cutting properly and you're in a good position, body position. Is, body position is super important with cutting hair. All right, the last section right here in the corner, that looks good. Now we're gonna bring this down into the real sides here, right above the ear, which we mentioned before. Same exact technique, same thing. But again, we're holding it a little bit closer to the head as we go downwards towards the right above the ear, which is tapering it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over the top this way and follow that right above the ear to make it a little bit shorter. Don't forget the corner right there, that's very important. And then scissor over comb. Go back in, cut around the ear, just to make it neater. And then, again, scissor over comb to just tighten up right above the sideburn and right above the ear. I always, do, I always suggest doing this. You can't go wrong by doing this. Then you can extend it up this way, and then I'm pulling my comb towards me like this, rotating it like this, which is going to preserve length as you go up the head. 
Now I'm going to comb it back. You guys can have a look here and see what you think. I think it looks great. Uh, I'm going to blow dry it and then maybe we'll put a little product in it and we'll see how it looks. So this is Tidal Wave, which is one of my products. And Tidal Wave is a great working spray, a pre-styler, has some UV protection on it as well. And it's going to give you that kind of beachy look. And since Zach had that, you know, California type surfer look, this is great to use when your hair is wet before you blow dry it. The best way I suggest blow drying this type of hairstyle is simply with your fingers like this. Just rake it all back, get some volume here, lift with the blow dryer this way, and just kind of come over the top with your hands like this. Sometimes the fingers are your best tools instead of a hairbrush. So let's go ahead and blow dry it, and then we'll see what we're gonna do when it's dry. All right, so as you can see, uh, we're pretty much done with the blow dry and we have it kind of going over this way. Now I maintain the volume because Tidal Wave is a volumizing sea salt spray, so you're gonna get great volume with it. So I don't wanna lose the volume, but I wanna add some shine to it. And I'm gonna use red carpet, which is my shine spray, my celebrity shine spray for that celebrity kind of shine and finish. It doesn't really have hold to it, but what it does is it gives you that added shine that you need to make your hair look smoother and also helps it feel a little softer as well. So I'm just gonna spray it on here. And as you can see, it already is adding some shine. Then what you can do is run your fingers through it just to kind of tame it down. This is also great for if your hair is frizzy, it's great to tame flyaways. And just lightly kind of brush it through. And there we have it. So. We still have the volume, but now it's got a lot more shine to it. And you can style it, brush it over however you want. Let's remember that he's got his hair going over and apart like this. And there you have it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you actually have watched Saved by the Bell and if you really like this video and you can find out where to purchase my products in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.